behind me is a 400 foot skyscraper. These are my Spider-Man wall climbers, and this is the real Spider-Man, who's doubled Tom, Andrew, and Toby, No Way Home, Infinity Wars. I'm gonna race him to the top. Shout out Shopify for sponsoring this one. All of this started off a call from Mr. Beast about two weeks ago. He saw my first wall climb video where I built this Spidey suit that let me climb out walls, even ceilings, and giant buildings. Go watch that video if you haven't, but he wanted to do a bit on his channel where we take it to the extreme. Mr. J Laser, I have a challenge for you. Talking double the height and have one of the actual Spider-Man from the movie do the climb using my suit. This sounds unbelievably cool. Definitely like a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I said, yes. He said, great, we're doing it in 12 days. Hmm? I haven't touched these climbers in like a year. They're just sitting in this box in my garage, probably covered in real spiders. We need to immediately test these to see if they even still work. Ah, much less make it up a 400 foot skyscraper. I'm also still trying to finish my Iron Man jetpack video, which is so late. So I gotta get this done before anything else. So in the same day, I flew the jetpack then got the climbers and went straight to the wall. The goal here isn't to climb this building. I just wanna know how long the climbers will run for to see if they even have a shot at making it up 400 feet. I figure if I can last on this wall for 20 to 30 minutes, then the Spider-Man should be able to scale the building in that time. But about eight minutes in, they started to get really hot. How are you holding up? It's just kinda hot. You see, the climbers are basically industrial suction cups. That's how they can stick to stuff. Stable. Come on, stable. Take it. I built four of these suction pads and strapped them to my arms and legs. There's foam around the outside to create a seal against the surface, and it's got a tube that connects two high-powered vacuum pumps to pull the suction. So as the air is sucked out, the foam squishes to fill all the tiny gaps, making a very strong seal. I've also got these indicator lights that turn on when there's enough suction, so I know when it's good to put my weight on it. With just a minus five PSI vacuum, we're actually able to lift over 500 pounds in theory with just one of these suction pads. And we have four pads, and eight pumps total. That works. <laughs> Wait, help. It's crazy how strong these can be if everything works right. If being the big question here. Because I had to fit everything in a skin tight Spider-Man suit, I had to build it as small as possible. So all eight motors are shoved up against my arms and legs. Yeah, the higher I climb, the longer the motors run and the hotter they get. How do you feel? The climbers were literally burning me, but it was a slow burn, so it wasn't that bad at first, but each minute that passed got worse and worse. It hurt so bad. But they were still working and I was still on the wall and I knew I needed to last at least 20 to 30 minutes, so I was just fighting on when to tap out. You can come down, dude. Huh? Come down. Oh, it burned so bad, dude. You gotta get the suit off me. Dude, I'm sweating so much. It was, it was horrible. And I don't really have the adrenaline yeah. that I feel like I would have yeah, if I'm on the it. building. So like, I'm just down. hanging off a wall, just hurting. <gasps> Not gonna be easy. Standing like this felt pretty good. The yeah. problem is when they're both on, it's heating up yeah. all of them. So I'm just standing here, I can rest, but it's gonna hurt me more. Oh. Do you wanna rest and get burned more, or do you wanna climb and, keep and get tired and hurt <laughs> a little less? Oh, you guys are private property, right? Oh, Wow. Looks like I'm breaking in. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I just wanna, I kinda wanna know, yeah. man. <laughs> I gotta kick so, you guys out. What's the channel, man? Jay Laser video. Gave me something to watch on my brakes. There you go. SWAT comes. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, have you heard of Mr. Beast? So I'm trying to figure out how to insulate these motors and I have to race somebody. Now we need two suits. So now we have 10 days to make an entirely new suit as well. This is actually impossible. We need, we need help. Bad. So I talked to the Beast team who found a fabrication company that are down to try and make another suit on this crazy timeline. So that day I got another call wanting to switch it up even more. You're trying to find something to up the stakes more? We're not doing things like, if this happens, you win money. Got you. So I, so I won't be getting any money. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, I'm somehow rigging a motor so that you can shut off the other person's motor. I guess they want to be able to remotely shut off the suit or maybe hang off a plane. <laughs> so I asked my mom how she felt about this. If someone was hanging off of a plane, you don't think that's a good idea? Yeah. You with a suit that's burning you and you have to take it off, it's on fire. This is your mother saying no. That's what moms are there for, guys. They keep you safe. And since it's actually your birthday today, in the spirit of Mr. Beast, I got her a car. Thank you just a million times, mom. Happy birthday. 
So the night before we fly out, I heard from the production team. What we're planning is for Carl versus the Spider-Man guy. We're gonna pitch it to Jimmy to see if he wants to get in it. That would be cool. So I'm flying to the shoot and I have no idea what's happening. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be climbing or if the suit will even work at all. I'm in uh, North Carolina, Raleigh, Durham. We made it. Good, we're here. Good. This is all gonna go great. I don't think we're really gonna know what's gonna happen until like the day of. <laughs> I'm stressed out. I don't even know what to be stressed out for. <laughs> so I haven't gotten another call just in this time. Incoming call. Hey, Jake. So having trouble with that one uh, left arm. Now you're headed over here, yeah? Yeah. Now the other suit's broken, and the shoot's in 11 hours. We got this all figured out. <laughs> I'm not worried at all. Do you see which one it is? <laughs> oh, that's big. Got it. Carl. <laughs> Carl got it. Why did that have to make it so tall? Hey, yeah, what's up? So, Martin's got uh, quite the resume. He's done uh, Endgame, Infinity War. Maybe he's, uh, he's Tom Holland's stunt double. The real Spider Man. So, I got right to work fixing the suit. Would you, would you say, like, that takes, I don't know, an hour? Or? That was fast, Jake. Right? Holding up to your name here. <laughs> Don't say anything yet. You can't see how high it is because it's dark. Okay, yeah. maybe we should do it when it's dark. Hold them up. Yeah. It works. It works. It works. It works. We taught Spider-Man Dave how to use the suit and made sure we were good for tomorrow. You're pretty good with heights, times. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Yo, it's not too late for us to just dip. Like, <laughs> Think about which one else. I know. I know. <laughs> You're like a lizard. Left leg, right arm, right leg, right, left arm. You're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's working. Just like we planned. <laughs> I had no doubt. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Whoa. Oh. He's one. He is long, dude. Imagine that you're like 400 feet off. I would not want to be that guy. On homecoming, they hung me from a helicopter. Four or 500 feet up. Helicopter starts doing this to get us to swing. I was able to tap it out so high that at one point I was staring at the helicopter pilot. <laughs> like, this is really cool. So everything was ready, and right as we were leaving, we got some really bad news. Producer came in and he sits me down at this table in there and he goes, the Beast shoot is off. And Mr. Beast has a lot of things going on. And apparently he has a video. How could there be a video more important? Than this is a, right. a yeah, lot of money. These guys, these guys went through finding a 30 story building in North Carolina that allowed someone in a Spidey suit to climb up the side of it. I know. And they brought in Tom Holland's exact stunt double. It's just tough because, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's exciting and yeah, it's difficult. But let's get food. Yeah. Food in that. I need to get with Jimmy all day tomorrow to make sure we don't lose like a million dollars on the rest of this project. I'm pretty frustrated by it. Now everything's already set up and ready to go. We also have our own cameras, drones, and GoPros, so we might still be able to save the shoot, get some content, and show Jimmy after. If you want to go up in the building, use the team we already paid for, do whatever, knock yourself out. It is what it is. Okay, let's go home. Okay. <laughs> we need to go home and actually just charge the drone and all the cameras, is what we actually need to do. <laughs> Day of, because it's too late to cancel, I guess he got breakfast for 40. <laughs> Eat up. <laughs> Ooh, it looks taller than daytime. <laughs> Somehow, I had become the director in charge of an entire Marvel stunt team, which was pretty cool. I don't really have time to think about it or be nervous because it was all just happening. Is it possible to get someone filming from the top? We can. Let's all go up in the elevator. Jake, you sure you want to see it up there? And... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> now there's the illusion of trust. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. Wait, wait. This is when I started to freak out a little bit. Still going. Ready? This <laughs> might be the... Uh, Chili. Well, that's good because the suit is burning me, so it'll keep me warm. <laughs> I don't know if I want to look down. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. Good? Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> I've never felt less confident about something. Seeing that height, Given how my climbers had been working, they're literally still a bit broken. Jake, what's going on right now? Oh, we're just gluing up the climbers. Uh, we're about to climb in like two minutes. <laughs> but then I got this message from Jimmy. Mr. J Laser, I have a challenge for you. For every floor you can climb wearing that Spider-Man suit, I will donate $1,000 to charity. Don't die. All right, this just got serious. Building's 30 stories, so that's $30,000 on the line. I need to do this now. And I also really want to win, so I'm just praying my suit could hold up just for one more massive climb. <laughs> I just fight I don't know how this compares to the actual <laughs> Marvel movies. <laughs> yeah, they cost, I think it's like 150 each. 150,000? Oh, 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 oh. 
Holy. What? Well, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be Spider Man without the suit. You yeah. shouldn't have it. Right? <laughs> So I stepped outside to a 400 foot skyscraper, the Marvel stunt team, the real Spider-Man to my left, and $30,000 at stake. How are you feeling? Oh, you know, another day in the life. <laughs> Dave, how are you feeling? Good. Good? Good, good, good. Just like crawling 400 feet. Much, right? <laughs> yes. Two year olds can do it. <laughs> One, One, two, two three, three, to the top! Okay. Awesome, have a great ride, uh, guys. Here we are, Spider-Man stand-up. Who's gonna make it up first, Spider-Man 1 or Spider-Man 2? Peter 1, Peter 2. <laughs> Peter 1, Peter 2. Yeah. Here we go, and 3, 2, 1, go! All right, go boys. Good so far. How you doing, Spidey? How you doing? Doing good. We're staying pretty even. I'm just trying to move as fast as I can without making a mistake. It's pretty neck and neck. On him. I'm pulling away. He's passing me back. He caught up to me a little, had a little problem there. He's beating me. I'm starting to have trouble with my legs. My legs are slipping. It's getting worse and worse, and I'm really slowing down. Oh, shit. You right? I was looking at Jake. It looked like Jake was slipping for a second. Dave is pulling away. The suit's failing, and I'm gonna lose if I don't do something fast. I'm arming it. Yes. Thankfully, my arm pads connect to my waist, so that takes some of the stress off. But for the most part, it's all arms now. I'm actually faster this way by only focusing on my two arms. Jake is leading behind a little bit, but he's still making it up using his arms. We're gaining fast. It's back in back. Let's go, Jake. He's smoking me. Who is that guy? It's getting hot and things are breaking. Oh, shit. Loose. The arm battery is literally hanging out of my suit, dangling by the wires, and if that comes loose, I will fall off this building. Somehow I'm still going in the lead and racking up that charity money one floor at a time. We are so close. Oh, Almost there. Let's go check on Dave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Did you like that? Yeah, and the battery started coming out. Kind of monster. Right? Straight miracle we both made it up. Can you believe you just did that? No. Had to take some pics, of course. Yeah, what would you do with Tom? Yeah. Oh dang, he's got it down. I know. This guy's a pro, man. Now before we show Jimmy all of this and go film the rest with him, Dave and I signed a few prints for sale on our new Shopify site. In the spirit of Mr. Beast, all the proceeds we're making here will go to charity. Shopify made it super easy to set up. Just put in your email and it gets you started with a free trial. From there, we just uploaded our signed 8x10 prints, chose a theme, price, quantity, and listed them. That's really all it took. No messing around with coding or formatting. It all just goes together super nicely and boom they're for sale online. Shopify also lets you sell your stuff through social media or even in stores too. So it's perfect if you're starting any new business or side hustle. And we're looking to also sell other stuff on here too like our spring ring frisbees. The first frisbee that actually bounces back. Perfect if you know you're lonely and have no friends. But it's super easy to add more items like that uh, but it's still in the work so be patient. We also might sell any other inventions that our lawyers deem not a severe health hazard. But there's a reason millions of sellers in over 175 countries use Shopify. And the total sales enabled by Shopify are over 590 billion. So if you've been thinking about starting a business yourself, check out Shopify at shopify.com slash jlaservideo. Instead of scrapping the bit entirely, we decided yeah. to just go ahead and do it. <laughs> Holy crap. Four hundred feet. Wow. You don't get scared doing that anymore? Uh, I was freaking terrified, dude. Oh! <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh! That's dumb. Tom Holland's stunt double looking at me. And we're like talking about, we're that, like racing. So his stunt double did show up? His stunt double showed up. We just got all these drone shots and 360 shots. and Crazy. Yeah. I guess he isn't yeah. the real Spider-Man. He was telling us the actual suits cost like $150,000. Fabric suit. Wow. You're probably just like, whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was saying. I was like, oh, Wait, wow. Beast. But yeah. They're that cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate so, it. Yeah, man. Yeah.
There we go. He films the videos for me. <laughs> Secretly, yeah. I want him to upload more. The, the dude okay. never uploads. So I tricked him and then he, uh, was filming a video, but in reality, I didn't show up and just let him film it for his channel. Yes. <laughs> Thank You're you. welcome. <laughs> we actually ended up going back to get some clips for his channel. Here's a sneak peek. This is a working Spider Man suit, and David Cole are going to race to the top of this building. I'm going to win. For your video, Yeah. if you want to place a bet. How much do you want to bet on Dave feeding Carl? 10 grand? <laughs> right. Carl, I just spent 10 grand, you'll be Dave. I got 10 grand on Dave. Bro, Carl. just lost 10 grand. Oh, I don't mind, just, you know, climb. Oh my god, is that Carl? Yeah. And because Dave is a professional stunt double, we're gonna let Carl start at the halfway point. Carl, do you not want to do it? We can sub you out. Right. Let's go ahead and switch him out, Maturi. So do I win, so do I win by Hold default? On. No, no, no. It's just happening. All right, so we're now better Carl, than you. Carl can't do it, so I'm gonna let you repick. I'm Tariq? still taking my boy Dave. Now I actually feel confident I'm gonna make the money. Tariq lifts every day. Oh, damn it. No, you're climbing now. Bro, we just asked you and you said yeah, sure. I think I blacked out for the last five seconds. <laughs> oh, I see my reflection. This is, this guy, this guy really. I told you, bro. Okay. <laughs> How was that? Good? We're gonna do that, but ten like times higher. The problem is, it's not. It's not how high. It's it's it's, it's how high. <laughs> yeah, he's terrified. Do you not want to do it? You're gonna yeah. have to do it. <laughs> you're racing them. All right. So if you win, I'll give you 10k. That way you're incentivized to try. Deal? Beat him last time. Sounds like a free 10k then. I mean, it sounds like I already won because none of them did it. Notice how Tariq's coming down. It's because he got scared. He's a baby. Just like Carl did. No. So, so we're gonna have Jake, the maker of the suits, go against the Spider-Man stunt double. Because my friends are terrified of heights. Jimmy, you me. Come on. No. You versus me. Let's Literally, there's not enough money on the planet to make you do that. Jimmy, would you do it for 400 million per video? Uh, yes. I would do anything. <laughs> no amount of money. A billion views a video, I would jump off this building right now. <laughs> I just don't weird. think he understands how that I works. <laughs> Funny, you know, I thought I wouldn't need to do this again for the third time.